Muhammad. Alpha News, what does it mean? The magic light. Aladdin's? Aladdin's magic light, yes. How old is your restaurant? Uh, about eight years. Eight years old. So how did you come up with the concept of setting up a restaurant? You've been here since 1970? Yeah, in the United States? Yeah. I've been here since 74, the beginning of 74. So what gave you the idea to come up with a restaurant? Uh, I've been into a lot of Middle Eastern restaurants. And they never made the sandwiches the way that was prepared back in Lebanon. They just make the pocket right, and that's not the way that we prepare sandwiches in Lebanon. We prepare it, we wrap it, and we add all the, uh, the pickles and all the other stuff with it. And I noticed that none of them, they do it that way. They just do it, they cut the top of the pita, they stuff it, and you eat the falafel towards the end. You start with the lettuce and you finish with the falafel. They never wrap it. How do you do it then? I do it the proper way. I I wrap the... We open first the the, whole, the, the pita and I put the falafel from top to bottom of the pita and then I add to it the lettuce, tomato, uh, onion, pickle, turnip, pickle curvy, tahini sauce and hot sauce. And then I wrap it and then when you eat the falafel, instead of when you... You unwrap the, the top of it, you eat the falafel from the top to the bottom, not only towards the bottom. Which and, is the proper way. and you also serve kibbe. I serve meat kibbe and vegetarian kibbe. Which and is very rare. I don't see kibbe served very often in Middle Eastern restaurants. Vegetarian kibbe, it's not in a city thing. It's actually the first time I tasted it myself in the, in the 70s or in the 80s, matter of fact, in Syria, in, uh, in a small town, and I, I loved it. So when I opened my restaurant, I made it. You know, I, I know what the ingredients and I know how it was prepared, so I prepared it. And, and people, they love it over here with the garlic sauce, and it's not fried, it's boiled. The kibbe. The vegetarian kibbe, it's boiled, it's not, it's not fried, it's not deep fried. Oh, it was fantastic. With now, garlic sauce and red pepper, lemon juice and olive oil. And what was the other stuff that you served with the cracked wheat and tomato? It's uh, bulgur wheat with tomato, red pepper and tomato sauce. I use crushed tomato, uh, fresh red pepper and uh, and tomato sauce, the tomato puree, as a matter of fact. And, uh, and I took them. Uh, there is a certain recipe for them. We what is it called, the dish? We in, in Arabic, Burgul uh -huh. uh, Banadura. Burgul Banadura. And what does it mean? That means wheat with tomato. Banadura means tomato? Exactly. And Burgul is the wheat. I also notice that your majeddara is very different from what I've eaten. I have the wheat with lentils, which is that's a very famous Lebanese uh, and We have special salad for it, but I don't have it. It's a two salad. It's bulgur wheat, which is healthier than rice. And rice is starch, and uh, wheat is fiber and uh, protein for the for the lentils. So a typical, uh, when you serve a typical uh, falafel plate, what all do you serve? You have the falafel, and then what else? They have a choice of hummus or baba ganoush or tabbouleh with it, or pul mudammas or stuffed grape leaves. And then uh, they have another choice of either the salad or the wheat with lentil, rice with lentil, or wheat with tomato. Okay. So the platter consists of three different things, the falafel plus two other things. Your original uh, restaurant was not here, it was in Fulton Street. Oh, I was on Fulton Street. Then what happened? Well, after September 11, I lost the... Uh, not, I mean, after September 11, things, they were not that great, and we almost did not make it, but with the support of the people of downtown, really, I, I stayed in business. And then uh, I lost my lease. My lease was finished, and they refused to renew it. So uh, uh, I found this location in May of 2004, and I took it, and uh, it took me about seven or eight months before I reopened. I opened, I reopened uh, the end of uh, 2004. And you and your wife run the establishment? How many plates do you serve on a typical weekday? Because we are in the heart of Wall Street area. Well, you see, at night we do a lot of deliveries to the financial institutions. And uh, during lunch, I mean, we are, thank God, we are very busy. The line is all the way to the door. 
I never counted plates really because people they come in for plates and sandwiches. But I mean, thank God we we do good. What is the best part of running a restaurant? To see the satisfaction on the people's face that you serve them the proper food, the authentic food, and the quality food. And you have your own lunch here. Do you eat your lunch here? I eat my lunch. I, matter of fact, I my wife she eats lunch. I eat only one meal. I mean, I eat at night. But I take my food from here. My kids they have their food from here when they are from college. And the same food that we serve here, the same food goes to to the house. So it's prepared the same way that's prepared in the house. So it's homemade. So whatever I'm in the mood for, whether it's hummus or the wheat with tomato or and I'm vegetarian, so you are vegetarian. Yes, sir. That is uh, unusual, isn't it? For a Middle Eastern, yes. Yes. How how did you become a vegetarian? I never was a meat lover. Really? Never. I mean, I never. Uh, I eat fish. I mean, I'm not vegan, but I'm vegetarian. I only I haven't ate meat for uh, or chicken for maybe more than 13, 14 years now. Really? And is that why you have the vegetarian kibbe? Well, that's I I I I would love to add some more stuff vegetarian because I have a lot of vegan uh, customers. And matter of fact, we are in the uh, in the veggie out uh, book of New York City. Uh huh. Uh, for the vegan uh, section. Mm -hmm. That is so unusual for a Middle Eastern restaurant to be, you know, in a. Well, my wife she eats meat, but I don't. I mean, I'm not. Uh, I never was a meat lover. So if you're vegetarian, then Alpha Noose is a great place to come and grab some great food, and then your uh, coffee. The Arabic coffee. The Arabic coffee with cardamom. Thank you so much for my your time, Mohammed. My pleasure. My pleasure. Okay. Order. And that's an online order, order. that uh, Mohammed just got from a customer of his. Order. And I guess uh, right after this, he'll get the order prepared and the ship to his customer. Right, Mohammed? Time Out New York recently published its top 100 restaurants, and one of the restaurants mentioned there is Alpha News.